Steve Eskenazi, welcome back to the UK. It's been a bit of an eventful winter for you. Obviously, it started out with you heading over to play great cricket at Claremont. How was that experience kicking off with that? Yeah, awesome. Look, that's a childhood club of mine. I think I started there when I was eight years old. Um, a lot of really good friends at the club, the place where I have a lot of happy memories. So I don't know how long I'd be able to go and do something like that for. So I thought I'd go and have one more year out there, you know, in the sunshine, working on my game um, in a really good standard of cricket that is great cricket in West Australia. Um, and yeah, tried to add to those memories. So yeah, I was enjoying it. So I think you got to play four games for Claremont, averaged over 40, so you're in pretty good nick over there. Uh, then I guess you got a phone call to, to go and have a chat with the Scorchers. How did all that come about? Yeah, look, I think the nature of um, franchise tournaments at the moment, with how many there are, how many overseas players there are, how many different competitions there are for people to go and, and play their trade in, there's always going to be opportunities. And I think I'm at a really interesting stage in my career now where I'm going to try and push and, and get as much experience there as I possibly can. So I thought I'd go over there and, and play great cricket and, you know, best case scenario, find an opportunity somewhere in the big bash if there was a replacement player to be had or worst case scenario, you know, to work on my game at the club there and, and with some other county players that were out there as well. So, yeah, in my wildest dreams, I could have, couldn't have imagined that it would be um, at Perth at a place that I'd grew up and had so many good mates, so many good memories. Um, yeah, and, and incredible two months. Obviously, you know Adam Vosius, the head coach of Scorchers. You've played with him back here at Middlesex when he was over with us. Uh, was Vosius a leading part in you joining up with the Scorchers, or how did it all come about? Yeah, I think cricket's a lot about relationships, Fletch, and um, Boji and I shared some wonderful times in the dressing room here, won a championship together. He was my captain um, and somebody I looked up to. Um, one of the things that Perth do really well is they want to make sure they have good people there and them knowing me and, and what I was about and, and me knowing so many of the players, I think it was a really good fit at the time. Um, they had some unfortunate circumstances with some top order batters getting injured and having to miss the competition through um, other circumstances. Um, but that was an opportunity for me. So I was there working on my game. Um, Voji gave me a call to go and play a practice game or two um, and we hashed it out there and, and yeah, it worked really well. They say cricket's about grabbing your opportunities and grabbing your moments. You certainly did that. I think you missed the first four or five games of the tournament. But when you got that opportunity to put on the strip of Scorchers, what was it like going out there representing your, your, your own state? Yeah, it was quite surreal, to be honest. I think I was quite fortunate that I had um, the first five or six games while Faf Dupati was there. Um, to get used to conditions, to get used to the dressing room environment and to get used to what that competition was. It was, it was very different cricket. Um, it was a big event, it was a big occasion, particularly at Optus Stadium. Um, and no doubt, you know, it was a privilege to play in front of my family and friends and, and represent a place that I have so many good memories at. Um, but that came with a different set of challenges as well and a different set of pressures. So, you know, once I was able to park that after the first one or two games, you know, I managed to get down to business and, and do what I do best, which is go out and, and try and entertain and do my best to make an impact at the top of the order. I'm sure many Middlesex fans like us in the office were glued to certainly the later group games and then through the eliminator into the semi and into the final. The look on your face when the, the winning moment came running onto the pitch, you looked elated. What was it like in front of that crowd lifting the title and being part of that successful side? Yeah, in incredibly special. Um, I know 54,000 people there, um, a record for West Australia and you know the parochialism of West Australian group fans is is unrivaled, so it was a pretty special feeling. Um, Nick Hobson, who hit the winning runs, has been one of my best mates for about 20 years. Matt Kelly has been one of my best mates, and there were two or three other guys that I played age group cricket with. Um, so my connection to the team was was evident, and it, mean, it meant a lot to me. Um, it felt like a second home, similar to the Middlesex dressing room does for me too. So to be able to walk around that ground, um, and to be able to positively impact so many people's lives there was, was a really special feeling and something that I've, I've certainly bottled up and, and tried to make sure that I come back and recreate here because you know the memories that we made over the course of those two weeks were, were memories that we'll have for a lifetime um, and it spurred me and motivated me you know even more to be able to bring that back here. Incredible stuff, Esk. You, you mentioned your desire to play more franchise cricket. I know we spoke last year and you were pretty disappointed and I think probably rightly so to not get a gig in the 100 last year. Um, that must be something you've really set your sights on this year and, and giving yourself a fair run of that. Winning the Big Bash title won't do you any harm at all. Yeah, like you said, the game's about opportunities and, and what that opportunity did for me was be able to go and expose myself to you know, a different set of eyes and show people that I could do it 
in a different environment and with a different set of pressures. So yeah, I'm looking to upskill. I think you know my numbers speak to themselves in this um, competition and, and this format of the game over the last couple of years and, and coming from an England Lions opportunity last year into that big bash opportunity. Um, I'm really hungry and motivated to keep building on that too. Um, got a lot of work to do to keep upskilling and keep making sure that I'm you know, staying a step ahead, which I find really exciting too. Um, but yeah, I've got really you know, lofty expectations on myself um, as an individual and with this group to be able to you know, try and, and, and keep taking these opportunities because they're great fun. Um, and G, you become a little better player for playing them, that's for sure. Just building into this season, Eski, obviously you came back this week, uh, sublime to the ridiculous really, back from the 30 degree heat of Perth. You'll be in the tent at Merchant Taylor's next week, probably minus 30 degrees in, in yeah. Northwood. Um, how much are you looking forward to that? Obviously, that's the kind of point, if you like, the season starts to get a bit real and, and we know we're nearly there. Yeah, it's the beautiful thing about cricket. You know, you have a week or so to reflect on a really positive experience in cricket, but the game moves forward and you don't want to be left behind. So I was immediately really excited to get back here and join up with you know, the guys who I absolutely love playing my cricket with. Um, the management staff have been working really hard on preparing the guys here for what's going to be a really tough start to the season. Um, we know how difficult cricket is in April, particularly as top order batters. So I love being back here and, and challenging myself over the next month to make sure that I'm ready to go. Um, we're very fortunate that at Merchant Taylors, the facilities there have been fantastic over the last couple of years in particular. So I wasn't going to miss that for the world. So come back, get over the jet lag with a bit of running that Flem's got us doing. Um, and we'll be out there, I think, Wednesday of next week with some, some proper competitive bat ball stuff and the real stuff just around the corner. Great stuff. Last one, Eski. There's plenty of ways you could celebrate winning a Big Bash title. You've clearly chosen, chosen to do so. We're going to the Barbers. Um, <laughs> are, are we going to see a, a rap career starting anytime soon? Well, maybe I'll make a pact that every competition I win, um, I'll dye my hair blonde. So the more blonde this year in middle sense kit, the better for everyone, I'd say. Yeah. Good to see you in that come September, mate. All good. Eski, thanks for joining us.